It's 10 GMT, all eyes on this man, investors pinning hopes on European Central Bank President Jean-Claude Trichet to announce new measures on tackling the Eurozone debt crisis. Uh, we've got some breaking news just out, uh, the revised Q3 uh, uh, GDP numbers, uh, quarter on quarter, four tenths, uh, year on year, 1.9%, so bang in line with expectations there for Eurozone. Q3, the revised GDP number. This is where we stand ahead of the ECB news conference on the markets. Uh, that conference at 13.30G, the euro hovering above the 200-day moving average around 131.20 off the day's high. Traders say it could easily break below if the ECB isn't seen to be doing enough to improve sentiment. Germany's economy minister weighs in, saying more liquidity alone won't resolve crisis countries' problems. European shares building on uh, Wednesday's strong gains, a rise in metals prices on the back of stronger data and a weaker dollar, lifting mining stocks such as BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto. Bund's own lower ahead of the ECB, analysts cautioning uh, the risk for disappointment, though, saying the central bank isn't likely to increase bond purchases just yet. Spain's three-year bond auction has just been well-received, a bid to cover of 2.3, as bonds hold a yield of 3.717, uh, uh, much higher, though, than the, uh, the last offer. ECB is expected to keep unlimited liquidity operations in place for longer. NAB Capital's Tom Voser is here uh, with me now. Tom, how far will spreads widen if the markets don't get what they want on the sovereign purchases side? Uh, I think we could easily start to go back to where we were at the beginning of this week with Spanish bonds heading uh, again for new record highs. The problem the market has is the following. The ECB can, of course, give liquidity to banks. That is what a central bank is supposed to do. By statute, though, it cannot monetize sovereign debt. It has been in the markets buying small amounts, but it can't really increase that to any size of the quantitative easing and asset purchase schemes that we've seen in either the UK or indeed the United States. So, all right, so the expectation then is for that and for a widening. How do, how do you trade on the back of that? Uh, well, again, our concerns are that uh, certainly the euro remains vulnerable and we would expect it to start breaking down. The bigger issue is, of course, that sovereigns can always sell their bonds to their own banking systems. You can then park it at the ECB if there is unlimited liquidity. Uh, but this is simply a technical way to get around the ECB's ban on monetization. It's not something it's actually uh, going to shout from the, roof, from the rooftop. So I think the disappointment will be short-lived once we look through the system. As long as liquidity for the banking system is there on a prolonged basis, it won't be removed from March of next year. It will carry on until, uh, until market conditions are perhaps more normal, then disappointment should be short-lived, but we do expect to see the euro weaken and indeed for the ECB to signal that it's not going to be buying huge amounts of sovereign bonds. OK, Tom, thanks a lot for that, Tom Vosa. In other news, Switzerland's economy slowed in Q3. The strength of the Swiss franc hitting exports, this adds to the case for the Swiss central bank to keep rates low despite consumer, uh, strong consumer spending. Finally, soccer's governing body FIFA will make the biggest decision in sport later today in Zurich when it chooses the host nations for the 2018 and 2022 World Cups. Russia has been the favourite to take the 2018 prize, but the absence of Prime Minister Vladimir Putin is uh, seen as damaging. Now, England are now being heavily backed at the bookies, the England campaign team giving its final presentation at the moment. David, uh, Prime Minister David Cameron says he is confident of winning. Well, we've got a great bid, so we've just got to go in there and give it everything that we've got. We've got a fantastic bid team. I think they've done a brilliant job. Huge credit to Prince William, who's really put so much effort in, and to David Beckham and to the whole of the team. A great bid. We've just got to convince the people in there that we could do a great job. Updates coming up on the hour, plus agenda-setting insight with breaking views at 10.30 GMT. I'm Axel Threffel. This is Reuters.